Okay, now I have Emma Lorenzen. Coach Emma, her first home game uh, as a Stevenson Mustang. Of course, Emma uh, came in uh, when I retired. And uh, tell me a little bit about the season so, f so far. Yeah, so we're pretty young. We got a, quite a large roster, but we only have one senior. So not a lot of returning familiar faces that have seen a lot of court time. So we've definitely been working on that um, and just kind of upping our speed a little bit. Uh, we definitely are focusing a lot more on our culture and what that looks like off the court, being a good bench teammate, things like that. And we're trying to kind of focus on the mentality of we before me and kind of what that looks like for us. And so we definitely have a little bit of a roller coaster of emotions, but what can you expect <laughs> kind of when you have four freshmen who have never really seen a lot of court time especially at the speed so uh, we got a lot to work through but so far I love the energy that we have in practices and just being able to build on what we can and focus on the things that we can control and go from there okay. well you know the, the story of the first set tonight was received yeah absolutely. and so when we built this gym and Brett Adams said to me what do you want and I said I want three courts and receive was the reason <laughs> because <laughs> then our receivers can all, all and I felt like tonight you pushed every button possible to f figure out, can we get somebody to make a pass? Because in the second set, you know you didn't give up any aces. You know, so what are the things that you do in practice to work on receive? Yeah, so we do utilize all three courts at a time, and usually what we do is we actually have the girls split up and rotate through servers. So anybody that would see serve receive in a game, they would be on that line, and then servers filter through and rotate each serve. So they're seeing different servers each time, um, and then we kind of signal to our servers to change every single serve that they go over the net. So if you just hit to the one, time to serve, change it over, a swing to the five, things like that. And so changing that, making us look a little bit different definitely keeps our serve receive on our toes uh, we're definitely kind of struggling with that hesitation of is it mine is it hers and just those seam balls that go in so it's a huge priority for us we spend about 30 minutes every practice doing just serve receive and we're going to continue to do that might have to up it even more because uh, we're struggling with that a little bit but it's a lot about confidence I want the ball I want to pass and so we're just trying to shift that mentality for sure well I knew kind of that your middles have been playing well. You know, I was really pleased. And Zay had 10 kills tonight. She hit, huh? you know, Zay hit 600 tonight. Yeah. So she's replacing basically Darian Dildy, who, was, who led the NCAA in kill percentage last year yeah. <laughs> at 400, 411. But Zay comes in and hits 600 against a pretty good team, Gallaudet. But you saw that they kind of started to bunch block there at the end and try to take that away, but still 15 and 10. And then Rachel had 10, uh, 12 kills tonight. Awesome, yeah. So, I mean, and there was a lot more than four freshmen that got really meaningful playing time mm -hmm. uh, tonight. So, uh, you know, that just bodes well. And there's some sophomores that played that didn't play a lot last year. Yeah, absolutely. You know? So, you know, I ex I'm expecting really good things. Uh, I'll be here bright and early tomorrow to watch awesome. you guys beat Arcadia. Yeah, slow start, but we got it. I'm hopeful for it. Okay, great. Yeah, Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.